Okay, so what were you asking about Link Sing? Sorry, Linda. Hey, Casey, even though you're not going to watch this. Count through. Ben didn't even watch it the other day. I've watched it. I'm saying. You still have it. Not easy. Oh. Uh, okay, so what were you asking about Link Sing? Sorry, Linda. Hey, Casey, even though you're not going to watch this. Count through. Ben didn't even watch it the other day. I've watched it. You still have it. Not easy. Oh. Okay, so this right here is the point. Uh, No, you have to do the antiderivative of it. And it's squared because it's a circle, and that's the radius of the circle, okay? So this is going to be the same thing. We're going from here to here, 1 over e. This time it's this equation. Thank you. And that's it. So if you got uh, extra work or whatever to do, you know, then kind of it. Okay? So you're going to find the uh, antiderivative of these two things and then add them. Well, we have to square it first. That's e to the negative x to the fourth x. Uh, e to the negative x squared times e to the negative x squared is e to the negative 2x squared. I think you have that. So, square root of the fourth. How do you find the antiderivative of that? Yeah, you're going to have to use a u substitute. Yeah, I just said how do you do that? So, we're doing, well, let's just focus on that. Uh, here, well, that was from 1 over e to 1. So, um, what do you do 2x squared or 2x? I'm going with negative two x squared, but you can fight me on that, and I could be wrong. But if I go this times this, my thinking is since the bases are the same, you add the exponent. Yeah. So negative x squared plus negative x squared is negative two x squared. Or you could think of it as e to the negative. What's that? Or in this case, if you got a power to a power, you multiply that exponent. So two times negative x squared is also going to be negative two x. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, so um, we're going to go U substitution here. Okay. Uh, what would you like U to be? Oh, right. But then if you take the derivative of negative two x squared, you're going to have an x in there. Oh, there's supposed to be an x here, and I don't have a uh, what? Same thing though, the derivative of x squared is 2x, so you still would have an x in there. All of it. What's that? All of it. You. So you don't know? I don't know either. Yeah, you can do that. You can touch the bridge you have. You just divide by 2. Maybe? Yeah. That's what we're going with? Okay, so uh, nobody knows, so we're going to get this. Get this. Okay. Skip it. Skip it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we'll be under the quiz though on Friday. Though, okay. So oh, make sure what? you get it figured out by then. Oh, you're not. Okay. Oh, now you're done. Oh, they get the two five. Put that. 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 Put because the uh, because the uh, u substitution thing would be a problem there because the e to the x is on the bottom, you need to foil it out. Okay, so one plus e to the x squared is one plus e to the x times one plus e to the x, so that would be one plus two e to the x plus e. Because if I tried to make a u substitution here, if I said like u is equal to 1 plus e to the x, and then du is e to the x dx, I'm good with that except that this technically is dx over e to the x, because e to the x is the bottom, on the bottom. And this gives me e to the x times dx, so that is not going to um, so you foil it out and you get this, and the reason why that is helpful is because now, if I, right, I'm basically just going to divide this term by term by e to the x. So 1 divided by e to the x is 1 over e to the x, which is e to the negative x, plus here, conveniently, the e to the x is canceled, and I just get 2. And then here, one of the e to the x is canceled, and I get e to the x. 
And then now you can do the antiderivative of that. What's the antiderivative of e to the negative x? E to the negative x. Negative e to the negative x. Negative e to the negative x. The antiderivative of 2 is 2x. The antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x. Let's see on the end. Good job, Matthew. Positive. Technically, we did a u substitution there, but we could also just do like against the check. If you take the derivative of negative e to the negative x, it's going to be e to the negative x. But then you have to multiply by the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. So that negative 1 and this negative will cancel. Right. Can I do 74 real quick? No, that's not me. Do which one? 74. 74. Numbers. What you get? Like integral numbers. I got 41, 8, 4, 3, 1, 6, 0, 6, 0, 6, 6. I'm going to go out on a limb and say one of you guys is wrong. Uh, okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're both wrong. Okay. <laughs> I, saw, I, I might not be, but I'm going to be confident. All right, so what are you going to make for your okay. substitution here? Negative x squared. Negative x squared. Do you want the negative x squared? Yeah? Okay. So du is? 1 over e to negative 2x. Negative 2x dx, but I just want x dx, right? So divide by negative 2, so x dx equals du over negative 2. Okay, so I'm going to take this thing and pull it out. You guys are okay with that, right? Yeah. And then that lets me just rewrite this as e to the u du. Okay? Now, I'm going to do that little trick since we're going from 0 to 1, where I'm going to go ahead and change these based on my u substitution, so I don't have to substitute that negative e to the x squared back here. So, if I take 0 and plug it in there for x, I get 0, and if I take 1 and plug it in there for x, I get negative 1. Now, the antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u, right? So if you plug in negative 1, that's e to the negative 1, so that's on the bottom, so it's going to be negative 1 over 2 e to the 1 or whatever, uh, minus, plug 0 in there, e to the 0 is 1, negative 1 half times 1 is negative 1 half, which is going to be like plus. Where did you use that? Uh, okay, no, I don't know what that is. Where did you, you plug in that? Plug in negative 1 e? So that's why the e has to be All right? Do not know. Okay, anything else? Yes. First of all, who came up with all this stuff? You got it. First, you didn't make it. Okay, second of all, what did you do? He's got it here. There was more than one person, right? Eight. Oh, yeah, they're all working on that. Eighty. You watch her. You watch her. Okay, I don't know if this is right or not, Matthew. What? No, never mind. <laughs> okay, so make a use of fusion. Yeah, put it in. Do it. Yeah, I did. What is it? I'm going to go with one over it. So that changes the e to, e to the 1 over x to e to the u, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, now to take the derivative of this, so to do that, I'm going to rewrite it as x to the negative 1. So it's negative x to the negative second dx, which is handy because this x squared is on the bottom. <laughs> right? So all I need to do is throw a negative sign in there and I'm good. Okay, does that make sense? So yeah, it's going to be negative e to the u. It's the antiderivative. So 
What movie is this? <laughs> it's not a movie. It's like 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 a movie
we're going to take this now and solve it for C by plugging 0 in for X and getting uh, 2 as a zero. So I'm going to go 2 equals 3E to the 0 minus 5 cosine of 0 plus C. So I put 0 in for all the X's oh, okay. and then <laughs> my answer should be 2. Well, well that C is going to be 2? Yeah. I don't think so. Because 3 e to the 0 is what? 1. 3. 3. Minus 5 times cosine of 0 is? Negative 5. 5. Okay. Plus C. So what is C equal? 0. No. Four. Four. So C equals four. So that means my first. Oh, because you're going to have C and D on that one. Right. Okay. Well, no, we, but we did the C, so we don't need to do the C or D. So now when I take the antiderivative of this, this is going to give me my actual function. C so 3 e to the x. Negative 5 sine of x plus 4x plus, you want to use d this time? Okay. And then same thing, now I'm going to plug in 0 for x and let it equal 1 and solve for d. Got it. Uh -huh. So d would be what, negative 2? So this will be my final answer then right here. Yeah, wait, these are Uh are we done? Isn't 